Tonight we are learning more details about the accidental shooting of a child. This happened on Siskin Avenue on the north side. Jacksonville Sheriff's officers arrested 18-year-old Jimmy Jim Circle Jones on child neglect. And with that, News for Jacks reporter Khalil Maycock joins us live. Khalil, you read through the arrest report. What information did you find out about this incident? Janice, that arrest report is very descriptive. It details while talking to Jones, investigators went to the home of where the incident happened. They found blood in the carpet. They also found it in the driveway as well as they believe they found some blood inside of a vacuum. Now that report doesn't detail how old the child is or the child's relationship to Jones. I just seen the crime unit. I seen the, the norm. I seen the norm. It was a couple uh, police cars. The scene Fate Petty is describing happened at this home on Siskin Avenue. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is investigating an accidental shooting of a child. Police say blood was found in this driveway. According to this arrest report, a child was shot in the lower leg. He was taken to UF Health by a private car. Police say the child had non-life-threatening injuries. Jamiracle Jones was arrested in connection to the shooting. Police say around 1230, she called a woman saying she needed a ride to the hospital. The report is redacted, but says investigators spoke with someone who says Jones is a student and has an infant child. We haven't been able to confirm with police her relationship to the victim. Jones told police the gun was unloaded, taken apart and placed in separate locations for safety. It's unknown who was holding the gun when it was discharged. Jones also told police she doesn't let boys into the home when she's not there to supervise them. Police eventually read Jones the definition of child neglect, then arrested her. According to News for Jack's records from 2019 to 2022, there were five children under the age of seven who were accidentally shot. Last year, a three-year-old child shot himself and died. Alexander Sibley III was charged with culpable negligence in that case. He is awaiting trial. And Yvonne Petty, who lives on the same street with Joan, says when it comes to kids and guns, adults need to be more careful. And it's important to lock your guns up just because yeah. you don't know who's going to be in your house. Yeah. You can have an intruder and children. You definitely want to make sure that they understand that you do not, you know, touch this yeah. and you keep it out of their reach. And other places investigators found blood residue was in the bathroom next to some rubbing alcohol. And that arrest report did include that they found a gunshot hole in a bed frame. Reporting live, Quill Maycock, Channel 4, The Local Station.